Dante, you got it up to the 30s in the third quarter with, with your lead, and it ultimately gets down to about six there. Uh, what was the message to the team as, as that was kind of going on, and how did you guys manage to hold on? Um, I mean, the message was more so after the game. Uh, we try to stay in the moment during the game, but after the game, you know, coach address, you know, every night we put pressure on the starters to come out and give us a great start to the third. In the last two games, um, the lead had drastically went down in the fourth. So um, he just said, you know, guys coming off the bench, just be ready to play and sustain the lead because every night, you know, he can't lean on us coming back in and, and keeping things going. So, I mean, it punctuates. We uh, we started in the thirds better um, than we than we was. So the bench, um, you know, to finish and start the quarters, they know that what they got to do, and they've been doing a good job. So, you know, you just had your moments where you just got to have a wake up call, and I think that's all it is. Um, I think we, we're in a good space. Um, I think the road trip, um, helped us. We, we dropped some games. I think we should have won. Um, but I think we learned from that and, um, going forward, especially with our schedule, um, we'll be better. Um, I think today was a good win for us. Um, and game of San Antonio was a great win for us. Just to get that mojo back, get back in the win column and, uh, and going forward, man, I think we've been yet to show our best basketball through all four quarters yet. I think we showed a glimpse, um, but haven't showed it all four quarters. And that's that's a good thing because I know it's coming. It's a lot of games, you know, left in, in, in on our schedule. Coach said that today was paid off the last goal of the second. Yeah. What, what do you think he's given this group? He gave, he, he's given us a lot that don't show up on the stat sheet, I can tell you that. Just his, you know, his, his, vo his vocalness out there. Um, the way he rebounded, he's real unselfish, man. He's he's a guy where I ain't worried about shots. You know, I'm I'm gonna chase this guy. I'm gonna be in this shit all night, and if it come, it come. That's just how he re hoop, and you know, he's a he's a guy that I enjoy playing with because um, he do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, that don't show up on the stat sheet. You need a guy like that. So it sucks. You know, it's his last day. Um, wish him the best. You know, he a good friend of mine. So. Um, Future bright for him, though, for sure. Dante, 113 points in the last night, 120 plus uh, in the last few games as well. But it seems just like the offense is starting to be kind of late. Mm -hmm. um, is, is that, am I on the right track there? And, and it's just a show what's going on. Yeah, it is. Um, I think, um, you know, Coach DA and Coach, really all the coaches, but DA, because he's our offensive guy, he, he's he been, you know, putting emphasis on guys just getting to the corner. Um, you know, them two steps above the corner can mess up spacing on the offense. So I think we all just been, you know, buying out to just getting to all five spots and throwing at the big fella and playing off that. And that's why turnovers are definitely down when we're shooting the ball better, generating uh, more paint threes. Um, and it shows, man, we just got to continue it and do it. That's Denver Nuggets basketball. We've been doing it uh, for a very long time. So if we play the right way. Uh, we gonna have high numbers in assists and you know low turnovers on that side of the ball. Game one of the season, so eight point seven. Now, how do you feel? Uh, getting more acclimated to the starting role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely you know been challenging for me, but um, yeah, I'm finally finding my you know my groove as far as a starter. Um, starting the year, you know, you can it's easy to be like, oh, I'm gonna tell you starting tonight, but you still, I still had that, you know thing in my mind that I was coming off the bench for my first three, four years here. So um, just having that chemistry with Yoke and knowing how to get other guys off, things like that, um, it's been tough for me. But now, you know, we, I got, I kind of have a sense of our playbook more and where I get shots from and how to get other guys shots without looking at coach now and, you know, just running things. So, you know, it's good to see, um, I feel good. Um, physically and mentally, just having fun with the game. And I think that's when I'm at my best is when I'm out there smiling and, you know, just making the right play and having fun. Dante, you can air the window in the first half and the driving dunk in the 
Mm -hmm. Which one stands out more and why? Uh, both of them was crazy. I mean, I seen the windmill when I jumped in the back <laughs> behind it on the photo, but the way he dropped them, I think I did a crazier celebration on that if they got a picture. But they was both big time plays. Uh, I like the one in the clutch. You know, we needed a basket. You know, and just putting that move on him and dunking, I think that that just shows what type of player he is. You know, that's a big time. You know, he's a big time player, so that was dope to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any theory as to why he's been stepping up his, his rebounding so much? Because it's been a big mm -hmm. jump last year to this year. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, you you know, he's so good. He's the best player I ever played with. So um every year he adds something to his game and you know, I think him just slimming down and things like that, he's so much more mobile now. Um yeah, I just gotta I gotta stay off the boards. I know he'd be getting mad at me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta let him get him. He probably would have had twenty five, but, um, but yeah, he, uh, you know, big time player, man. That's every night, effortlessly, he shot fourteen shots, man, and you know, he easily could have, you know, shot twenty five shots and been twenty twenty five, you know. So, um, yeah, man, big time Hall of Fame type player. Can you notice him? Yeah, I mean, he just, I think he just know, he just scores so easy now. Um, you can double team him, you can do whatever, but just him just reading the game, it's at an all time high. Like, he's just so comfortable out there. He's been comfortable, but like now it's like, he make the right play down there every time. So, um, it's, it's dope to see, man. He's he definitely he's a guy on off days. He's getting in lifts. Some guys have blackout days. He's doing a lot of stuff that y'all don't even see. Um, so it's no coincidence he go out and get those numbers. You know, hard work pays off, and he always do it. Two quick ones on the Zoom. Go ahead, Jim Conlon. Hi there. Ed. Hi there. Just the impact there on Davon Reed uh, in the, since he's came in, been catapulted in the, uh, deep end in the NBA. How, how much of an impact has he been on the locker room and how much has he given you in the last, since he's arrived? Um, yeah, I mean, Davon, like I said, man, he's a hard, hard hat type player. Um, and he's not scared of the moment. Um, even in the locker room, just being on a 10 day, he, um, He's vocal in there, you know, if he sees something, he's not just laid back and holding his tongue. You know, he's a guy who's played in the NBA a lot and, um, you know, it's real vocal. So it was good, the stretch he was with us and I uh, wish, wish nothing for the best. Um, you know, wish, you know, we could keep him, um, but that's just how the, the cars roll sometimes. But um, like I said, Davon got a bright future, hell of a player. Uh, I'm looking forward to what he do next. Last one, go ahead, Leonardo Torres. Hi, Monte. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Monte, are you surprised by Faku Campasso's ability to create no look assists like tonight against the Wizards? Nah, I'm not surprised. Uh, He's been doing it all his life. I think he's been pro since he was 15 years old. So, uh, I mean, if you go on YouTube and watch him, I mean, the first few plays is like eye, eye opening, you know, mind blowing. So, when he does do stuff like that, you know, you know, second nature. I see him do it all the time. Um, so the passes are crazy, though. Um, sometimes guys don't even be ready. I've seen him hit a couple guys in the face before, like in practice. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's dope to see, man. He, he's real creative, especially for his size and how quick he is and things like that. So it's dope. Thanks, Monte. Yeah. Thanks, Monte. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Oh, man.